Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Steele. I'm a naturopathic doctor and founder of Holistic Family Practice in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I wanted to educate you guys about um, the natural order to which the body heals. Um, I absolutely love science and I love biochemistry. And when I really discovered kind of the roadmap of the body and how the body works, it was like light bulbs. And so I wanted to jump on and teach you guys about this. So it's very simple, um, even though they're very complex, but I'll simplify it for you. So the food that we're eating is our fuel, okay? So that's how we're fueling our bodies, right? So energy in, energy out, you've heard me say that before. So food is medicine and food is our fuel. Then we digest and assimilate that food, meaning that we take these macronutrients, these carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and we break them down into micronutrients, all of our vitamins and minerals. Those vitamins and minerals then fuel our metabolism, which metabolism isn't about weight so much as it is about all the chemical processes in the body. So it's it's pretty much the engine of our car. So it's running everything. We want to optimize our metabolism so that our body is able to heal, it's able to process, and it's able to do all the things that we want to do. On the other side of metabolism is what we call the electron transport chain, or sometimes referred to as oxidative phosphorylation. And that's just a fancy term for detoxification. This is the body's ability to detoxify itself. So food is medicine and it's fueling it. We break that down into all these micronutrients that get into our engine and fuel our car. And then it goes out the exhaust pipe, all the waste products. However, what's happening in our uh, society is our food is heavily toxic. We're not able to break it down properly if we're even eating healthy at all. So we're not eating healthy, then we're not breaking down, digesting and assimilating, and instead it's actually doing damage to our system. So then our metabolism slows and then our body's not able to detoxify properly. So then it starts to bioaccumulate, meaning that the system starts to accumulate toxins in various different cells our bodies and then that that toxicity over time begins to develop disease so many people you know they're like oh i need to get healthy so they'll try to go do like a fad detox right they'll do like a, a juice cleanse for 15 days after they're eating fast food seven days a week right and it shocks the system the system's just not used to that so we really try to get people out of the fad thinking um and i know that people want to be healthier um the best thing to do really um when you're seeking to get healthy is really clean your diet up really get back to the basics i tend to say you know if it's man-made stay away from it if it's god made eat it um try to eat as natural as you can so fruits vegetables lean meats if you choose to eat those you know um, healthy grains like quinoa and things like that and so that's really a healthy way to eat now a lot of times it's very bland so people complain you know but you can use all kinds of herbs and spices and it doesn't need to be boring and it doesn't need to be arduous or painful um, and eating healthy can actually be really fun so um, fueling your body is really important, making sure you get adequate amounts of uh, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, especially if you're healing, you want more of a higher protein, um, you know, you want, you know, mid-range to upper uh, quadrant of carbohydrates because that's your short-term energy. And you really want to stay low with your fats unless you're a long distance runner or you're a triathlete, or you're going to be burning, you know, that amount of energy. You really don't need an excess amount of fat. Uh, unfortunately, fat is very satisfying. And so people like to eat a lot of fat. Um, and so then they accumulate it around their organs that creates visceral fat and visceral fat creates disease, metabolic diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, etc. So I really want to work on the diet, get the diet nice and cleaned out, um, and then begin to repair the body's ability to digest and assimilate. Um, and as we do that, the metabolism starts to speed up. It starts to work better. The body starts to fuel better. You start to have more energy. You know, you're, you're able, your circadian rhythm starts to shift, and then your body detoxifies itself naturally um, without even having to force it. So, and then naturally there's other detoxification processes that you can do. 
you know, different organs need detoxification, such as the liver, the digestive system, the kidneys, the blood, the lymph, et cetera. All your primary eliminatory organs uh, need a lot of detoxification. So if you're experiencing, let's say sinus issues, skin issues, or even reproductive issues, you know, that's all a sign of heavy amounts of toxicity because those are secondary drainage pathways. You have primary drainage pathways, which are the ones I just mentioned, your liver, um, your blood and your lymph, your large intestines, your kidneys, and your lungs. Those are your primary eliminatory organs that are going to eliminate toxins. And then your secondary ones, which if, if those are full for, you know, um, uh, just to make it easy to, to think about when those are full, even though they're, they never get full, you know, they'll lean to the sinuses and the reproductive organs and the skin, and they'll try to push toxins out. So if you're having issues with those, you know, oh, those primary organs are really unhealthy. Um, and so, but again, like you don't want to just go do a flash detox like it's very dangerous to the body you know people talk about healing crises you really shouldn't have a healing crisis if you understand what you're doing when you're detoxifying so um, hopefully that explains a little bit more for you about um, the body and the natural order to which the body heals itself